Welcome back to Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford, Brad, Sham, and Mickey Spagnola. We're joined now by Lindsey Draper. And, of course, this game on Thursday night against the Chargers, the preseason opener for the Cowboys, really is all about the young players trying to make the team, getting an opportunity. And one of the most intriguing is a guy you caught up with, the rookie tight end from Texas, Jeff Swaim. Jeff Swaim hasn't been getting a ton of attention in practice for being flashy necessarily, but for just being consistent, catching balls coming his way, blocking, and that's really important. But Brad, what's intrigued me the most is when Jeff Swaim arrived at Valley Ranch, I went and caught up with him the day he got here. He was quiet, timid, and maybe a little surprised that the Cowboys even drafted him but this week it was a different person confident learning and hungry for the game on Thursday Jeff Swaim was a surprise draft pick late in the seventh round but what's not surprising is how much he's grown under Jason Witten in the few months he's been a cowboy summing up is probably uh, selling him short a little bit uh, I've learned so much just in the few months I've been around him you know and coach Pope's an amazing coach who knows you know has been around tight ends for you know 40 years but Having a guy who's played this position at such a high level for such a long time, um, I don't think that you can really beat that, you know, and have it, it's like going to have another coach next to you on the field. At six foot four, 250 pounds, Swaim spent two seasons as a tight end at the University of Texas, mostly playing to his size as a blue collar blocker. We draft players, or we like players who can block first because we can teach them something about the passing game if they played, you know, decent college program. He's worked hard in the weight room, so uh, his future's got uh, the arrows up on him. Obviously, a big part of the tight end game is, is blocking, you know, as well as receiving, but for me, being a blocking tight end out of college, um, that's what I've been used to doing. That doesn't mean I'm great at it here because these guys are paid to do this just like everyone else is. He'll have his chance to compete in just a few days when the Cowboys play San Diego for the first NFL preseason game. Well, my physicality, I think, um, my competitive spirit, and then just to finish everything I do. Um, you know, you're going to make mistakes, I think. You know, the standard to live up to is no mistakes, but I think as you learn, there's always mistakes that, are, that happen. And so my job is to show that if you do make a mistake, you're going 100 miles an hour, you're finishing everything you do. You know, you could see enough in the workouts that he had after the season was over, but, you know, we, we always have to be trying to add players at each position because players do graduate in this league. So uh, at some point in time, you know, hopefully he'll grow into that position. He's making some progress. He's not there yet, obviously. But but uh, he's got good size, he runs well, he catches well, he's flexible. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Swaim, along with the other tight ends, listens intently every day after practice as famously known Mike Pope drills take place in Oxnard. Oh, they're interesting. I mean, you know they serve a purpose. Um, and we understand what they are. You know, it's not just, oh, he has a big theory. We, we know, you know, what they're, what they're working on, your hand-eye coordination, um, really looking the ball in, um, adjusting to the to a catch when you have pressure and guys are tugging on you and stuff. So we understand what it's for, but they're always they're always interesting. The, the ice bucket one, I think, has been the most interesting, if not refreshing. I don't think it's insignificant that the Cowboys were out of draft choices and traded a future to get back up to get Jeff Swaim. I think they like him a little bit. No, they really do. And, you know, when he first got here, everybody was thinking, well, it's just kind of a blocking tight end. It's a pretty good receiving tight end. I don't know they got an opportunity to show that. Uh, at Texas, but uh, they really like him. So the prospects of possibly keeping four tight ends, I think, are high at this point. All right, uh, we got to get ready for the game on Thursday night in San Diego. So this program will take a couple of days off, and Lindsay and Mickey and I will be back with you on Friday right here in Oxnard after the preseason opener on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford was brought to you by AT&T, mobilizing your world. Dr. Pepper, dare to discover a one-of-a-kind taste as unique as you. If you've missed or would like to re-watch any portion of tonight's show, simply go to DallasCowboys.com TV.